Hello everybody and welcome to my tutorial. Today I'm going to be talking about how to light your scene in Octane for Cinema 4D with a mesh light that is an object that emits light in your scene. So if you wanted to model a light bulb for say and have it light your scene, we're going to be talking about how to do that. Before I begin though, I would like to say a super special thanks to Intelligent Machine and X Crossfader for directing me to the site that showed me how to do this technique in the first place and that would be right here. This guy here is um, Lester Banks, super amazing stuff he does, so definitely check out his work. I'm making this tutorial though because it's a little bit more direct into getting this issue solved. So let's just hop directly into Cinema 4D and before we begin let's just quickly make a scene so we can light some stuff in here. So I made a cube, I made a plane, and I made a sphere. And we're going to take the sphere and we're just going to pull it up over here. We're going to make the cube 100 centimeters below and we're just going to expand it up. So now we have some kind of stuff to light and our object to light at this sphere up here. So let's hop down here and we're going to click on create shaders octane octane material. We're going to take this first one and we're going to put it on the ground and on our cube and we'll call this base. We're just going to name this base just to keep track of everything. We're now going to copy this and we'll make the new one light. And there we go. Light is the one that we're going to put on our material. It doesn't matter what you name it. We're going to put this one on our sphere though to keep track of it. We're going to click here and make sure that is on. That is the correct one. So what we need to do to basically light this is we're just going to click on this material down here or up there. doesn't matter which. Or we're going to click here first actually. Whoops, we're not going to double click that. But what we basically need to do is we're going to select our material. We're going to go to Emission right here. Then we're going to click on Texture. Then we're going to go to Octane. We're going to click on this little arrow here to open this dialog up. We're going to go to Octane, and then we're going to click all the way up. We have two options. We're going to go to either Black Body Emission, or we could do all the way down to Texture Emission. This is where a texture would emit the light, so you could have different colors of light emitting from a texture, or you could have it emitted from the whole object more of as a light, basically. So we're going to do Black Body Emission, just so we can be a basic light. And I'm going to go up to my Octane window. I'm going to do my Octane Live Viewer. Now that we've had that all set up, I'm going to click Render. And instantly we have this light rendering our scene right here. I do have the demo version of Octane, so please note that. Do not worry, though. The process will be exactly the same throughout this and both versions of these. So just to clarify that this is working and this is the process, if we do go back onto here and we remove black body emissions, we get nothing. So we got to make sure, just to clarify, we make material, put it on our object, click on that material, go to emissions, click this little texture tag, go to see if we're deoctane, black body emissions, we have light. You do not even need materials on the other objects. They will still light up just fine. Thank you guys so much for watching this tutorial. I hope you found it helpful. Please leave a thumbs up if you did. Leave a thumbs down if you didn't. And please subscribe if you'd like to see more tutorials like this in the future. See you guys until next time.